Hi, question number five taken from June 2012 Advanced Level Maths HSC S1. An English examination consists of eight questions in part A, three questions in part B. Candidates must choose six questions. The order in which questions are chosen does not matter. It means that we're not going to be doing any permutations. Order doesn't matter means we're going to be doing combination. Find the number of ways in which six questions can be chosen in each of the following cases. First one, there are no restrictions on which questions can be chosen. So six questions to be chosen out of three and eight. So that three plus eight is 11. So six questions to be chosen out of 11 questions. So we'll just do it on our calculator. And that's going to give us 462 ways. So the answer to the first part is 462. The candidates must choose, must choose at least four questions from A. Okay, let us say at least four questions from A. What does that mean? Okay, so let me put a small asterisk here, a follow-up here. This is paper A and paper B. <coughs> Sorry. Four, at least four questions. It can be four, it can be five, it can be six. If it is four here, it's got to be two. Five here, it's got to be one. Six here, it's got to be zero, because total num total number of questions will have to be six. This four question is chosen out of eight. In part A we have eight questions, so we're choosing four out of eight, five out of eight, six out of eight. Here also we're going to be choosing two, all right, out of three questions, out of three, out of three, because paper B contains three questions. So if we do that, all right, here, 8C4, 8 C4 is going to give us 70 times uh, 3C2 times 3. That's going to give us 210. All right. And um, also we have <coughs> 8C5, which is 56 times 3C1 is 3. Check it out. Okay. 3. C1 is 3. Okay, so 3 times 56 is going to give us, give us 168. And this one is 8. C6. 28 times 1 is going to give you 28. So 28 plus 168 plus 210, and the answer should be then 406 ways. So for the second part, the answer is 406. Candidates must choose either cho either choose both questions one and two in part A, okay, or choose neither of these questions. Okay, if two questions are already chosen from part A, we're going to permute four questions, so leave the rest because a total of six questions needs to be chosen. Two has been taken, so we're left with four. So we're going to permute four out of nine because why nine? There were eleven questions. Eight plus three is not is eleven. Two has been taken. So it's been chosen already. So 11 minus 2 is 9. So plus, if we don't pick up these two questions, okay, or either choose both questions 1 and 2 in body, or choose neither of these questions, none of these questions are going to be chosen. We're still going to choose 6 questions though, out of how many? 9, because 2 is not going to be chosen. So therefore 11 minus 2 is 9. And we just simply have to do it on our calculator. So 9C4, which is 126, plus 9C6, which is 84. So plus 126, it's going to give us 210. So this is the third part of the question, 210. And this question has been done. Okay.